thank you. Thank you again for your kind words. Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody. Uh, it's a real pleasure for me to stay here with you. And okay, I'm Gianluca, as you know already, an international SEO and digital marketing consultant since 2004. And I have the pleasure to work with uh, many brands from all over the world. But let's go further because we have only 20 minutes and I would love really to share many things with you. So uh, at the end of this talk, you will bring home these framing keywords. As you can see, that image and visual are, is the most natural way of searching, but image search and also visual search is not only our tags. And in the case of uh, image SEO, as SEO in general, but especially of image and visual SEO, but that we really is in the details. And I hope you will have understood the why of this talk. As I say here, many SEO underestimate the power of image and visual search. Try not to be both uh, SEO and try not to lose uh, the traffic and especially the conversion that image and visual search can drive you. Image and visual is the most natural way of searching for things and answer as I was saying in the takeaways because our brain works visually. Uh, the same fact, the same writing started with a substantially growing image that became symbols and from symbol they became letters and vocals and consonant and what we know as the alphabet. But if we want to be more practical, let's see why Amazon promotes visual search. Visual search, it says, Amazon is a perfect for shoppers who face two common dilemmas. I don't know what I want, but I know it when I see it. A classic example is, can be the smartphones. Before Steve Jobs show us the iPhone, nobody, really was thinking or desiring to buy a smartphone. Uh, second, I know what I want, but I don't know what it's called. Um, this is very common. Uh, just think when you go, let's say, to, to an hardware store and for instance, you have to buy a screw. But what kind of screw? I usually rely, <laughs> resolve the problem going with a screw I want to buy uh, with me and showing uh, to a clerk and say, I need few of these. I don't know you. But resources would be surely be of help in cases like this one. However, when it comes to visual search, we must be conscious that it's harder for a machine than voice search, as Clay Babor here explained well. And okay. So you are, if you are not convinced yet, try to listen to this, good, this cool guy, Hannibal Lecter. In the Science of Lamps, he was saying this really, really important phrase. We begin by coveting what we see every day. And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Let's think it. It's not just for serial killer, it's for everybody in every daily uh, situation. Moreover, studies like this one that I'm showing to you are presenting us that visual search is something that the younger generation use already quite a lot. Also, this other study, which is a little bit older, it should be eventually updated, uh, even tell us that visual search is considered more relevant than more talk about channels like, for instance, as you can see at the bottom, live chat messaging or substantially digital assistant to chatbots. And obviously, the crisis we are all living obliges us to pay more attention to everything visual, also search. People can go or cannot stay too long in a shop now. And e-commerce is reaching a new height in many sectors. And 
image search for e-commerce is becoming really, really a pressing, of a pressing importance right now. So who is investing on visual search? Mm, big brands, for sure, but not only fashion. For instance, Conforama, Wayfair, Idealista, uh, Ikea, all these are not fashion. Wayfair, Conforama, and uh, Ikea are furniture and decoration. Idealista is a Spanish multinational real estate uh, website. Uh, if you think of this search as a product to, or as a feature to offer to your user in your website or mobile application, you know, uh, the market is plenty of opportunity to start a, to create a product like this. But if you're in a sale, who is investing on visa search too? Search engines, marketplaces, and visa search networks surely are investing a lot on visa search and visual and image search. Google, Bing, but also Pinterest was the first one, Amazon, eBay. And why? Why all these search engine, marketplace, and social networks are investing on visual search? Because visual search creates a new space for researchers, researches based on visual association. And because visual search can lead to conversion with just one click from the image to the card, eliminating passages, therefore eliminating the risk of losing conversion. I have just, let's say, 13 minutes. So I will only talk about Google, even if it would be wonderful to talk about also Pinterest being uh, what eBay or Amazon or other uh, big players are doing. But Google is, it's a good one. Uh, not, it wasn't the first one investing in visual search, but as it was the case, remember, before came iPhone with iOS, and then came Android. And now we know what uh, mobile system is the leader, is Android. So the same is happening with visual search. Google start later, and it's especially start incorporating things that were discovered and experimented first by others, especially by Pinterest, but is really, really going really fast on this, on this track of visual search. And obviously, Google is the place where, where, where us marketers can find more opportunities. In the past, Google was just about image search, if we think about visual. The present is seeing emerging more and more stronger between image search, classic image search, and visual search. Not really the future because it's a present that is already here. Uh, visual search is going to be part of a bigger concept of conversational search where we will have visual, voice search, and traditional textual search all working together on a multi device uh, ecosystem. If you are a nerd, you can go on Google Patent and go see what are the patents that have been granted uh, to Google for both Google Image for Image and Visual. Google Image, moreover, as studies like this one by Ryan Fishkin, uh, are showing to be shown to be a big provider of clicks and traffic. The website. So here it is. This is the vertical of Google image. Uh, how it works. When we do a search, for instance, over size and glasses, we can see first these tags. These tags are entities related to oversight sunglasses, for instance, women's, for instance. Aviator, which is a subtype, let's say, in a specific entity of sunglasses. Uh, but also, let's say, 
attribute or characteristic related to this main entity, which is oversight glasses. An example is black. Then we have shopping, and then we have the organic search. Oh, one thing about the tags. The tags are wonderful for entity search, as you were, as I was already saying. And they work somehow as people also ask. In, you can click on a, if you click on a tag and then go back to the first original tag, Google expands the number of tags available. And so you can substantially create a, and obtain a very, very large um, list of related entities for your search. But let's go return directly to visual search, in this case, image search. Uh, also, now also in desktop, you can see uh, images that are labeled with uh, an icon and as you move up and you see product. If we click on this image, we have a preview. And the preview in an image search of product are much richer, very much richer than the search result in, in universal search. Um, what do we have to do? In mobile, if this is more evident. You see here the label with products. And how can we have it? We first must have a markup with schema.org products, the paid product page. And obviously, we must have target also the image. Image is, uh, is, is required for products rich snippet. And on mobile, uh, Google also allows, as you can see from the icon, to create collection. So we can surf image search results and save the image that are inspiring us or that we want to look after more quietly into uh, this collection. So we can uh, save them and search them. Uh, people can uh, reach the collection quite easily because every time you open the Google application on your mobile, uh, you will show an icon uh, saying when you are in a Google image, uh, remembering, reminding you that you have collection. So you can decide then to open this collection, which are available also in Google Photo. Also, you can open them also from the Google application of Google. Organic shopping, as you can see uh, on mobile, the preview are occupying all the screen. And this is the same. I mean, they're coming from search, they're coming from a collection in Google Photo. They the, the preview of a search result is always all occupying all the screen. Why? Because Google Image has been designed especially for mobile searches. How can we evaluate opportunities if we have an e-commerce? Okay, um, I can, I'm using here SEMrush, but uh, uh, every tool that tracks features like HRF, mods or stats, can be used obviously. In this case, you can, if you have a project, you can go to your project, go to position tracking, and then search filtering uh, what keywords uh, are having uh, see the presence of an image box. Or if you are, mm, let's say, scouting and uh, doing competitive search, you can go on organic research check position and filter to show only the search with the image box and not only image box. The one, the, the keywords that presents in the in their serps, both image box and some, and especially shopping or, or other kind of AdWords. Uh, these keywords are the one that have the biggest opportunity offer the biggest opportunity of visual shopping. So the one for which you should really optimize your website. 
A web of images is not only a Google image. Uh, images are key in rich results. Uh, let's see, news, AMP, they are required. No AMP recommended, but substantially required. Then event, how to, live streaming, local business for restaurants, logo, obviously, film or movie, products, as we have seen, receipt, video. But as I was anticipating, but that will be in the details. If we go for to the product uh, specification, we can see that Google suggests us that image should be at least 1,200 pixel wide. This is not uh, a coincidence, but also uh, Google is also suggesting us that if we, if we want to really perform well on this cover, we should use large high quality image that are at least 1,200 pixel wide. Remember, everything is connected in the world of Google. Again, they will see the details. Image URLs must be crawlable and indexable. And pay attention to all the things that you can use and indicate in the XML's image search map. However, going back here, uh, remember that we can also uh, use uh, embed the image information in the normal XML sitemap. Uh, tools we like Screaming Frog or Sitemap can help us doing it. Then go check all the uh, guidelines in the Google uh, search gallery because images are very, very different uh, characteristics from rich result to rich result. But image are not just image box or rich results. They are present in uh, the knowledge graph. They are present especially in the feature snippet and try to pay attention to own your image, to have your image of, uh, in your feature snippet and not to have. And then literally we also start having popular products. Uh, popular product was announced in January, but tested live before as I experienced. Uh, popular product is the practical visualization of what Google calls as surfaces across Google. And uh, you can have it, you can um, have it for apparels and fashion products uh, uh, going on Google Merchant and setting up a feed. The feed requires a link a URL for the image. Image search for SEO, easy. Descriptive image, file name, obviously. The alt text, alt tag, which is still the most relevant factor. Caption, image description, image XML, sitemap, as I was saying before. The content surrounding the image must be consistent with the image itself. This is really important because Many times well, what we can call as the meta description of the image search result is taken from this content surrounding the image and not from the actual meta description in the code. And then remember this? This substantially can be defined as Google Lens. Google Lens is a pervasive application, not only exists on its own, but as, as for instance, voice search, but it's another functionality in Google Search, Google Photo, and Google Assistant. How it works with a phone, you Google Lens, you can point to a product and search for it directly on Google. For instance, here I was pointing to a box of a game workshop, a Lord of Rings product. Um, you can also select content written uh, words and copy paste these words substantially and search uh, with uh, use this word for search, do a search on Google. Um, obviously uh, from here we can substantially arrive to a product page on e-commerce but we can also end 
in uh, this kind of results that we are seeing on the on the right. And you can see tiendas. Tiendas is shop in Spanish. So um, from a wizard search, we can also end up into substantially local search, which is a really interesting. Obviously, uh, being embedded into Google search, uh, Lens it's also fantastic for inspiration, uh, investigation. Uh, so for instance, here I saw this wonderful chair. Uh, I frame it and Google Lens is telling me what are these products. It's a strand mode, clearly IKEA. What I can do? I found a product in a more generic image. I loved it. Search it with Google Lens. Google Lens is telling me what is a product. And from this research, research, I go directly to the product page and can buy it. Remember what Amazon was saying. Then, this was search SEO. How can do it easily? Everything we have said before for emerge search is valid. Then. Structured data, respecting all the indication, radio, dimension, quality. Quality images must be uh, our key in our case. Why quality image are key? Because uh, image search algorithm, image recognition algorithms are not perfect yet. And uh, the worst the image is, the quality of the image, the worst of the ability of an uh, algorithm to recognize what is portrayed in this image. But obviously, we also must remember to optimize this image for space speed. We have to find a good balance between high quality and space speed. Here in this link, uh, you can find a fantastic guide about how to optimize image for page speed. Um, regarding this, what about WebP? WebP could be an idea. The problem is that WebP is not considered for structured data. So follow this uh, suggestion from John Mueller. This research also asks to avoid mess. mess. Again, the messy the image, the photograph, the photo, the messy, the most confused can be the algorithm in recognizing an object. Then if you're using stock photos, modify them to make them unique. You will understand really fast why. Republish all your image for following with your social network, for instance, Pinterest. And remember internal and external links have a value also for image and visual search. Not for things like page rank, not at all. No, it is not for this. It's because of this. The more pages use your image, the better Google is able to tag this image with entities related thanks to all the content that is finding, Google is finding surrounding this image. And the better understand Google an image, the better you can tag it with uh, entities and related entities as we can see here. And so the more it will be visible uh, and in image search. So image and visual search are the most natural search. It's not only tall tags and remember the devil is in the details. Don't be the classic SEO that ignore or underestimate the power of image and visual search and go earn that traffic. Thank you.